Hello everyone, this is Prapreet Kaur and I am back with a new concept of science which is sexual reproduction in plants. In plants, flower is the structural unit of, of sexual reproduction in plants and in the flower which has both male and female flower, it is hibiscus. In hibiscus, there are four bowls which are calyx, corolla, androsian, and gynosium. These are the four moles of the, of the flower hibiscus and calyx, corolla are the accessory rules. Androsium Vanoshium are essential rules. These are the four parts of the flower hibiscus and in this androsium and gynosium plays the main role in the process. This is this is the male flower which has anther and filament. This is androsium. This is gynosium. Female flower. Male flower. The flower and these are the parts which plays the main role. Anther, filament, stigma, style and ovary. And the flower in which both the, both the flowers are present, male and female, is called bisexual flower. And the, the process starts, this is how the, anth, the pollen grain. There is one... Hello everyone, this is Prapreet Kaur and I am back with a new concept of science which is sexual reproduction in plants. In plants, flower is the structural unit of, of sexual reproduction in plants. And in the flower, which has both male and female flower, it is hibiscus. In hibiscus, there are four bowls, which are Calyx, Corolla, Androsian, and Gynosian. These are the four moles of the, of the flower hibiscus and Calyx, Corolla are the accessory rules. Androsium, Vanoshium are essential rules. These are the four parts of the flower hibiscus and in this androsium and gynosium plays the main role in the process. This is, this is the male flower which has anther and filament. This is androsium. This is gynosium. 
female flower. Male flower. The flower and these are the parts which plays the main role. Anther, filament, stigma, style and ovary. And the flower in which both the, both the flowers are present, male and female, is called bisexual flower. And the, the process starts, this is how the, anth, the pollen grain. There is one small pollen grain. This is transferred to the stigma here. This stigma, um, this process is called pollination. Pollination occurs with the help of wind, air, insects, etc. This takes place because of air, natural things like air, wind, insects, etc. And after the process of pollination, uh, the stigma here, it became sticky. And there are two male gametes formed. Two male gametes are formed and the male gametes are passed from the pollen tube and are produced in the embryo sac. This is also called as embryo sac. And these are produced in the embryo sac. And the male gametes which are formed. One male gamete unites with egg, egg, pol, egg, egg cell and the second one uh, unite with the polar nuclei. One unite with egg cell. Second unites with polar nuclei. And this is how the whole process takes place and this and there is the formation of two male gametes and this formation of male gametes is called double fertilization. Because there are two male gametes forming and this there is so we call it as double fertilization. This is the process of sexual reproduction in plants. Only this much for today. See, mm -hmm. see you in the next video. Do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Bye.